We are not focusing on the needs of the people of Kenya. And that the people of Kenya are suffering. That constitutional amendment is not a priority. Madam Speaker, I don't know whether now the people of Kenya are enjoying and that the life of the living standard is now, the cost of living is low. Yet, when I walk across, we are suffering even more than last year. The cost of food is unaffordable. There is the drought situation in the country. How I wish that the language of President William Ruto, when he was campaigning, he sticks to that script and make the people of Kenya have a bearable life. Instead of writing memorandums to us, these are issues we can deal with. We can sit down as a country and agree that we want to go the route of constitutional amendment to introduce the official leader of opposition, to introduce cabinet secretary to come to parliament and become members of parliament instead of look, passing through the back door and escape routes to look for a way of bringing strangers in the house. And I heard Honorable Murugara saying that we allowed some two strangers. The president is not a stranger. Look at the presidential systems across the world. The president is part of a legislative process of the country. That is why he is the last one to ascend to the bills. He cannot be a stranger. 